What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Drew Marcy, here with another episode of How to Rap. And in this episode, we're going to answer the question for you. Should you be making more full songs or should you be making more freestyles and written and practicing your stuff off the top? Now, the first thing I want to say, and this is just an opinion, but it's based on what we've seen in the music industry, what you can see with the actual hit makers, the actual legends. And this is basically the way it really works. The ugly truth rather than what you might hear just around your rap homies. Real matter, the real fact of the matter here is that the full song is the currency of the music industry. It's the dollar, it's the euro, it's the yen, it's whatever local currency, it's where your money is at. So your ability to be a great songwriter, your ability to make catchy hooks, your ability to say things that are easily repeatable, things that people actually want to say, and I'm not just talking about your, the rap homies, you know, or your, the people you work with as you learn how to rap better, sort of like this channel. I'm talking about the fans out there in the clubs who may just like to hear something memorable and catchy when they're getting live or whatever it is, and the people who are listening to the radio enjoying themselves, trying to forget about their problems in everyday life. The real fans, the real people, the full song is the currency. That's what gets their attention. That's why they remember you. And that's why if you notice many of the greatest rappers of all time, the ones not just with the skills, but with the real hits, they're really talented songwriters. And you can see just over the years, the things that they're most known for, the songs that they're most known for are catchy, repeatable, ain't nothing but a Jeep thing, baby. Very easy to remember. Big Pimpin', Lyndon G's, all the classic rap songs. You think of these phrases and they're catchy and repeatable and they're full songs. So the first thing I want you to remember as we talk about this and you decide what should you be doing most of the time as a rapper, most of the time you should be focusing on getting better at your full songs. This is really the true way that you're going to take yourself from just another cat rapping on the corner in the cypher and actually getting yourself to get noticed and actually get fans. And many of your friends will even enjoy your music a lot more if it's put in a nice full song format rather than just 80 bars of straight punchlines and stuff. And there's a time and place for that. And of course, you should eventually get mixtapes and stuff like that. But be sure that you know that where most of your money and most of your power in this industry is going to come from is full songs. So how exactly to answer the question fully? How do we handle this? How much time should you be spending on each? Now, my personal opinion, what I coach folks on, and you know, as we build in the How to Rap exclusive group, as we build people from just rappers on the corner with their friends to actually getting buzz, getting noticed, getting deals, all of that stuff, we, what I would say is practice freestyling and doing little like quick flows and stuff like that as a way to have fun with rap. You know, sometimes it's gonna be hard to write that classic song. You're gonna have to do promotion. Be sure to just do it to keep your momentum and have fun. When you're at the party, you don't need to always spit your writings. You can just do a freestyle. That'd be a perfect time. When you wake up in the morning, you're in the shower, whatever like that. And if you watch my videos before, I always say, do your freestyles in the shower to keep the skill up. You know, that's when you're freestyling and having a little fun. Um, when you feel like maybe you have, you're in a slump or you're going through writer's block, that's when you would do a little written, maybe just a verse, a small victory, get yourself a small victory. But when you're really taking this seriously, when you're ready to make that leap, when you're really like, okay, I really love rap, I really want to do this, that's when you want to begin doing full songs. So I would say most of the time you should be worrying about full songs and even if you're mixing and matching those verses together or learning from your freestyles how to improve your songs, that's when you really want to do it. So hopefully this helps. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe, get on our newsletter. But the main thing I want you to get out of this particular video is the full song is your currency. That's what's going to take you from just being another rapper to somebody that people actually want to invest in as fans, as their audience members in the industry itself. But you also want to use freestyles and writings to actually keep your momentum up and be sure to have a good time with it all the same. So that being said, hopefully this helps. Talk to you soon. HowToRapJew.com. That's the name. That's the slogan. Peace and love.